Well, she's running. Here, the wine, it's the AR5, I think. I had a wine to it before. Uh, I don't know if that's just the truck transmission or, or how that works. I'll have to make sure the fluids are topped off. I might quiet it down. But for now, she's running 13 point like six volts for charging. She's hanging out. I was revving her a little. I was holding the rev up a little bit for breaking it in a little bit. Uh, so she got a little warm. She's up there above 195, but she's hanging. 192 right now, but it's been holding. I've got the fan hardwired to the uh, ignition so when the key on the fan comes on for now uh, it's got a little bit of a misfire I think I had one before so it's either a wiring issue or an injector maybe it's got all new plugs and they're all firing so I don't know I'll have to look into that but for now that's it clean up this wiring mess hopefully I want to get a different harness because obviously it's a rat's nest and I want it one to look cleaner and two eliminate if that's my issue but fires right up uh, it's not leaking anything it's got 55-ish fuel pressure, which is right where it should be at. I think it was like 57, 58, something like that it's supposed to be at. And then, uh, that's it. I mean, I gotta bleed the brakes, put the front end all back together, clean it up, and uh, put fluid in the trans. She should be running. Go for a test drive. Put the interior back in it, do my boots and stuff. Put the uh, gauge cluster all the way in. It's just kind of sitting in there right now. But that's what I got. I can explain that. I'm doing uh, just a uh, OBD2 scanner. Oh, uh, Wi Fi to my, or Wi Fi, Bluetooth to my. Android tablet. It's like an Amazon special, um, Amazon Fire or whatever. And then uh, I made two little mounts to hold it in. I eventually will run a power wire to the side, and uh, that way it uh, I've got a, a little program on there that you can download. I can uh, tell you what it is actually. Uh, it's called Auto Sleeper, but uh, it makes it so that when it's unplugged, it will go to sleep. So when the car turns off, the tablet will go to sleep. So if you use the car enough, the battery should never die in your tablet. It should only ever be on when your car is running. And uh, I've got my oil gauge, pressure gauge, just so I can make keep verification on that. This doesn't read that for some reason. Um, I want to say that the LT1 swap directions say to remove the oil sending stuff. So I don't know if that would actually work with it. My Chevelle wasn't hooked up that way either. I ran it through uh, an actual gauge because I wanted to be for sure because I killed a motor having low, low oil pressure once. So as far as my gauges, I have a standalone harness so it doesn't go into this dashboard at all. Uh, I've got room over here. I'm thinking about doing a uh, fuel, fuel uh, gosh darn it. I'm 
really bad at remembering stuff. Fuel level, so I know if I got enough fuel, you know, full tank, empty tank. I've not had one in my Chevelle for a long time before this, and I ran out of gas plenty of times. But, uh, that lets you know you can, you can do a poor man's CTSV. You just get a base model, throw a V8 in it, and it works. Yeah, all the other guys will say it's not a V, and it's not, but they look cool. It's gonna run good when I'm done messing with it. And I got the car for free from a friend who recently passed and he told me I could have the car if I did something with it and all he wanted was the V6 and the trans out of it. So I pulled those, gave them to him and he let me have the car. I think I paid 600 bucks for the L33. It's the aluminum 5.3. I uh, paid another 350 bucks for the manual trans, uh, about a thousand bucks for the full swap kit from Fabbot, and then uh, let's see, the header or the manifolds I paid like 50 bucks for, 60 bucks for, the mounts I paid 60 bucks for, a wiring harness I made. Uh, I bought a car intake that was about 300 bucks and everything else I scavenged from other stuff so you can definitely do this for under the price of buying a V and uh, this is just a short video so I'll uh, I'll get another video when I get everything back together and go for the test drive but for now I'm gonna go look things over and uh, if I got issues I gotta fix, I'll get them fixed. So that's it.